Good morning and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View this Tuesday morning. Yes, it's Tuesday and we're getting to the end of September and there's no football this week. There is no football this week, uh, we do play at the weekend. And last night, one of the Celtic Ultras groups put out a statement. Was it a statement? Was that really a statement or is it just a, a comment on what's been happening? Um, is it time? Before we jump into it, um, I have put up in the community tab this morning. Uh, if you click on the channel, turn my own video down. If you click on the channel and you click on a community, as you see there, and then you click on to the poll. I have done a poll. Yeah, we do like a poll on this channel. Uh, do you support the Celtic End Ultra section behind the Celtic End goals at Celtic Park? And currently there's 51 votes and 80% say yes and 20% say no. Now, I'm asking that question because the statement that they've released is all about the atmosphere at Celtic Park. Now, it's something that I've commented on before on this channel. Um, having spent quite a lot of years going to Celtic Park, I know how some t some sections of Celtic Park can... Um, you can hear the sweet you papers rustle. And it's, listen, it's modern day football. Everyone's entitled to that. I mean, I've went to games here in Europe and it's the exact same. You know, Celtic Park isn't what it used to be back in the early 2000s uh, and, and in the 1990s as such, where the whole stadium was absolutely rocking. I think fans have changed, fans have got older and, and the younger fans uh, just aren't interested in, in doing that for as long. And the ones that are generally try to invade the ultras section, which creates a complete headache for Celtic security staff. But last night, um, one of the Ultras groups that sits in one of the corners next to the main stand, um, after a few days digesting and analysing the performance of our section in, in the previous two matches, Slovan Bratislava and Falkirk, we think uh, it's time we share some of our thoughts for those who opt to stand with us in block one, two, Two. The Slovan Bratislava game was fantastic and probably one of the best atmospheres at Celtic Park in years. Even before the team put in an incredible performance, there was an energy and excitement generated from the stands, which hasn't been seen for a long time. There was a real infectious buzz about the place, demonstrated by the pockets of fans all over, joining in with ourselves and the Green Brigade. Compare that in contrast with the Falkirk. And it was like the life had been sucked out of the place before the game had even kicked off. Uh, we heard the term European hangover, but this particularly in the first half must have been the come down of the century. Of course, there are obvious differences uh, we cannot ignore. The Slovan match was in the Champions League, a game under the lights, which is usually we actually had a good chance of winning. Another was a cup on a Sunday afternoon against a lesser opposition. A lesser opposition that put up some hell of a fight um, in the first half, got themselves ahead. And at, the, at that point, should have the crowd tried to make some more noise to get the team going? That's a question for you in the comment section. Um, then it then goes on to say, uh, the opposition was supported uh, with a fantastic number of fans. Um, the team was excellent midweek, as whereas Sunday... It was white knuckle rides for large portions of the game. <laughs> You're not kidding. There's going to be a big difference for us, uh, for the average fan, and that's completely understandable. However, the section was established and filled with fans who should actively support our team. Interesting. So they're saying that uh, some of the people in that section weren't actually pulling ranks. Now, you've got to remember that the boys... Um, came into existence uh, at the same time as the Green Brigade, who were the SMV, and then they were uh, banished away up to the top tier, and then they're now back down in that corner. And a fantastic little group of guys, a fantastic group. They bring a lot of atmosphere to, an, <clears throat> to that section at Celtic Park. But is it time? Is it time we just say, look, just put these two groups together and, and get them a Celtic end? <clears throat> and if you want to sit in peace and quiet and watch the game as normal, you can do it anywhere else around the stadium. Um, and it's just a thought. I, I, I'm not ad advocating it. I mean, it can be done. People saying that people will refuse to move. Well, 
people who had the opportunity when the current section was being brought into formation. Everyone was sent out letters. Do you wish to stay in the standing section? And, or do you wish to be relocated? It's as simple as that. And I understand that people have sat in that section and there's been many fans that will have sat in that section since the day that the stadium was built. And they feel that that's their seat. And But times have changed. The atmosphere wasn't the same as it was when the stadium was first built, was it? Anyway, the statement goes on to say, while we can be realistic uh, to acknowledge that things cannot be forced at that level of support with difference, uh, with different depending on the prestige of the match and the opposition, kickoff time and on off field performance. None of these are reasonable excuses for the complete downing of tools or for worse, not showing up at all. If you want to benefit from having an area where you can stand with friends, shout, sing, swear, and generally be left alone to enjoy more freedom than afforded to other areas of the stadium, there are minimum expectations for doing so. So I think they're having a little bit dig at people that come to stand in that section and join in, and the fact that they didn't join in at the weekend. Far too often now, we have noticed people standing in silence with their arms folded, hands in pockets, with a blank, slacked jaw, soulless expression that's left us considering whether or not we have, or we should check the pulse, or call an ambulance, or activate the closest defibrillator. <laughs> These sort of things, along with leaving um, to the beat of the traffic, uh, leaving to beat the traffic, have compounded, demoralizing impact, zap the energy out of everyone around you. This also applies to those who migrate from other areas of the stadium. They shouldn't be doing that. Now, you need to be telling them they shouldn't be doing that. That's what causes the issues in the first place. The Celtic will tell you so. Um, this also applies for those who migrate from other areas of the stadium and uh, to stand near us. Uh, you're also expected to play a part, as far as we are concerned. Everybody who wishes to do so is welcome. We do not moan about a bit of overcrowding. Oh, Jesus, guys, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. All you're doing now is is, is allowing Celtic to, to clamp down, double up on, on stewards in the area, and then you're going to complain that there's too many stewards in the area. Ah, oh, Jesus, where do we go from here? Uh, anyway, uh, every Celtic game is important, providing backing for the team from the minute they come out to the warm-up until they head down the tunnel after the match. It's the most basic and fundamental remit of standing in our section. This is actually not. Um, this is not a choir or forced or laboured. Uh, it's easy to judge your support on big nights like this and the Slo Slovan Bratislava match. However, every Celtic game should be an occasion to showcase our pride in who we are and where we come from and what we represent. We have the perfect platform to do this, but it starts with all of us playing our part as individuals in the home matches. In the near future, uh, let's make a concerted effort and uh, lift the energy and bring the level of consistency from our section that has been lacking. Use your voice, use your hands, put your hands in the air, uh, put 100% into effort in every song and action. And finally, well, it is our group that is responsible for the organising and administrating of the section with the club. It's not just for us, it's for everyone who chooses to stand there in that corner. We welcome all suggestions for the improvement from out with and within. Thanks for your support, the boys. So that led to my question um, in the comment section of the channel this morning. So if you head over to there and, and just have a look at that and see what you think. Now, whilst I do fully, fully back both the Green Brigade and the boys in their endeavours to bring an atmosphere to Celtic Park, I think it is imperative that we do. I mean, when Celtic will have collated all the information, they will know the feeling of the fans by now after the fans forum email that was sent out. And the Green Brigade and the boys wanted people to address the fact that they want a, a Celtic end section. And it's not going to happen this year. It's not going to happen next year. Um, but, but it maybe could happen sometime soon. So that's why I've asked in the poll. I think it's important that we do bring Celtic back to a place, especially in European football, where we create as much hell, as noise as possible to put the other teams, opposing teams off. It's not just the team on the park that has its position, uh, that has its part to play. But then again, why shouldn't we be doing it in the cup? Because let's face it, it was only last season that we got put out by Kilmarnock in the first round of the Cup. 
Yes, Falkirk are a division below us, but that shouldn't matter. It's a cup game. We now go to Hamden. Um, it used to be the case that if you went to this game, uh, you were pretty much guaranteed your seat at Hamden. But because now of the the home ticket cup scheme, um, I think that, I mean, Hamden takes care of itself. But we need to bring more atmosphere to Celtic Park. And yes, the team was rubbish and all the rest of it. But sometimes, as we saw, and as it's been said before, and as it's been says, said by players that have left Celtic, when the Celtic fan base get on song and that whole stadium is rocking and absolutely jumping for the best part of 90 minutes, it does push you on as a player and it does help you along. Yes, we should have had that game uh, a bit more under control at the weekend, but it is what it is. It's football. So let's just get on with it. Now, if you missed out on the live last night, you missed out on a few amazing things. The banter on the live last night was absolutely amazing. If you want one of the funniest lives and, and one of the most entertaining lives on a Celtic, any Celtic channel, make sure that you join us at 8 p.m. Celtic part-time. And last night also, um, we had an amazing thing that happened last night. We hit 19,000 subscribers, currently sitting on 19,005. We are trying to hit to the 20,000 and we're trying to get there before the end of October. Can we do that? Maybe not, maybe the end of November. But thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. There's lots of you who haven't subscribed to the channel. The stats shows me that, uh, show me that. So uh, it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and help let's get this nice little community up to 20,000 subscribers. And on that note, have an absolutely fantastic day. Yes, you, especially you, because you've watched to the end of the video. You're really special. You know that. And have a fantastic day wherever you are, Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the 